Simo! Good evening, YouTube. You're now watching another episode of the Cali Effect. No, <laughs> episode. We're now watching... Oh, segment. Segment. I'm watching Simo. That's $1,250 each. <laughs> Anyways. Manuel, he, he, had his, he had his clock clean, so he's going to start off with Trap Tricks Mary Mello with two back row. Um, Mr. Saul's going to counter with uh, Tinky Lance. to Yamato. I'm guessing. Oh, and no. lose it to the bottomless. Wow. Man, that, no that's answer. Rough. That's rough. He's going to set a back row and then pass it back to uh, Manuel. Manuel's going to summon... Oh, okay. Did not know he was playing that. So he's playing Fire King. He is playing Trap Tricks 16. Fire King. Yes. Okay, okay. 18? Yeah. What posture? Yeah. Minus 16. Ah, Two tries. Some Yamato. Turn to Yamato. Ooh. 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 46. Oh, Ooh. the Lance that time. Ooh, that time the Lance protects the Bougie Yamato. Yamato. That's my helmet card. So how old did you top deck that Lance? I did. <laughs> <laughs> he did. His voice. He did. I did. I did. I did. Uh, 46, 7,000. <laughs> oh, he's at 40. Oh. Ooh. We see a Kaiser Coliseum dropped on the field. Okay. Uh, what's your last name? Ramirez. Okay. So, now, against Fire Kings, Kaiser Coliseum is not that big of a deal. Yeah, because they can easily make a Gurunix and just nuke the field. Yeah, and it, it just becomes, after that, it's just fun. Yep. Fun? So, um, fine. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That, that was a pretty nice That's setup. That's a good Adding setup. the crane to protect it, and then also following up the with uh, oh, yeah. Hair to the Graveyard. Oh, really? that, that pretty much sets him in a good position. Um, let's see here. You're going to go. Right. Manuel's going to special right. summon uh, the Big Bird, the Big Chicken. Big Chicken. <laughs> and so that, that can bring, bring us some dominance into this game. Yes, I'll try it in hand. I just got rid of it. Did you see? Oh, he's going to do on the top of the deck. All right. Pass. So we decided not to attack, knowing that Bujin Crane was in the hand. Which was oh, the right. smarter move. I, I feel that that was the superior play. Ooh, we see a breakthrough skill on Garunix. To prevent, so right. save Yamato one more time. Yeah. Just to add another layer to that helmet. Mm -hmm. Actually, on activation. Circle. Okay. Ooh. Circle is going to destroy the uh, Garunix, dodging the breakthrough skill. Destroying all cards on the field. So I destroy everything? Pop, 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 pop. Okay, so Baron dies. So just to let you know, you have to activate this guy <laughs> beforehand. If you are going to activate him, activate him as Chain Link 3. Hmm? Because Garunix is already activated. You activated Breakthrough Skill and response. He changed Circle of the Fire King. So if you are activating Hirume, you can't activate it um, any time other than now. I'll just put it to you that way. You can activate it now. Right. You just have to activate it now if you wish to protect your, mo yeah. your mono. Yeah. You mean hair? No. You, you said you said Harume. Oh God. <laughs> they all they all have helmets. <laughs> no, no. Some are thicker than others. <laughs> oh, it's my turn. Yeah. That Kaiser Coliseum might not be there for long because we also have to remember um, his monsters destroy. Uh, the Gurunix is still destroyed, so it's gonna, just going to come back. It's going to come back next turn. And then that's going to put Yamato in a very bad position. It's going to summon Colin, okay. He's overlaying. And I don't... I don't know. I'll just attack soon for two. Yeah. So, yeah, 19 and 16. Sure. Well, what's yeah? Huh? What do you got? 46 to 35. I really don't know why I never played this. And then he's going to go into Katasushi. Katasushi is a very interesting card. It's a very good counter to Garunix. Yeah, and he, we already know he has answers. Uh, can't be mentioned right now for uh, mm -hmm. other cards. Katasushi is also really good to use in a Fire King deck because then you won't lose a monster when Garunix comes back. Exactly. exactly. It's a very smart play. Um, I want to game it YCS with that. <laughs> All right. Right. Expect it to destroy something. What was Chainlink yeah, 1? I'm sorry? Runix? Okay. Perfect. Kelly. Okay. 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 It's going to grab another Circle of the Fire King. Which Circle of the Fire King is usually the card you want to search with Borrow, uh, yeah. depending on the situation. He can activate the effect of Ice Hand to destroy a card, but he can't special, right? 
Special. The card that is preventing him from being destroyed is saves the Kakasuchi with a material yes. detached. All right, so if I destroy, let's say I destroy this one, uh, fertilizer. You know, and then this would go to the grave, and then I would get the effect. Cause it what would I can tell you, oh, so is I can go. develop that information. Cards have to finish resolving in order for other cards to activate. Okay. So it's if already activated. Like, no. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Like, okay. Like that. Just to let you know, if he were to destroy Miracle Fertilizer, then this would stay on the field. I know that. For Sorry. the time for okay. I sent a special summon. Good so enough. he's already made his target. Just to let you know, Eric. Yeah. Excuse me. It's, that's going to be good rolling for the future, then, no. Yeah. You missed Grunix come back in defense mode, Kagasuchi detached material, oh. and that is all you've missed. Oh, all right, so I didn't miss much. Nope. Uh, 35, 46. Manual, you have 35. Soul, you have 46. Alright. And Manual, I think that Manual's a really good player. He has the opportunity, um, to turn this game around, but it is hard with the opposition that Saul has proposed. Um, he has so many ways to, uh, manipulate what, uh, a Manual is using. God, this is hard to do. This is extremely hard to do when you're right in front of the players. <laughs> so like it's it's I feel it's a toss up. It's it's a very bad position. And these are both like you said, these are both really good players. They both went undefeated today. They did? Oh, alright, alright. Could have sworn they were both scrubs. <laughs> <laughs> Detaches the material off the Kagasuchi to save I, it from I, the dark hole. I think the dark hole just saved his ass. Like really, really well. Because that Dark Hole attack. makes that Katasuchi attach one. Then Garunas gets destroyed. It comes uh, back, and now Katasuchi is no longer a threat. And one can assume in the normal Bujin build, only one Katasuchi is played. So, uh, we're, not a, we're not scientists here. This guy might actually play two. If he has one of those like industrial strength padded helmets, he has two. <laughs> <laughs> I come with protection. 35. I can't work protection. Duh. I'm here for game. Kagasuchi is a really good answer against hat. Yes. Yeah. Well, hands. Yeah. yeah. Hands at. Well. No, more stops. Oh, well, it doesn't stop moral attack, but. It, uh, it, it has a just... bigger body than moral attack. Yeah. He prevents moral yeah. himself from being destroyed. Mm -hmm. Pass turn. So Manuel's gonna pass turn. I, I feel that Soul was in a perfect, a prime position uh, to make some really big plays. So, like, it all depends on what he decides to do. And then you also have to remember, he's a crafty player. He's gonna pull that back row. And here comes the Boog Incarnation. Ooh, that, that might, like I said, it, it could set up a lot of future plays that might not be great for Manuel. What's that, uh, that Torrental that banishes everything on the field activate? <laughs> that struggle, though. That struggle. Would Exitone be smart? Uh, I'll... Why'd you do it and find out? Oh, I think Exitone would be a superior play right now for, uh, on Manual's side. He definitely gained a lot of advantage. He would. Or disadvantage. Quote unquote advantage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, no. It's not that that would go So Manuel, he goes through his like 30 card extra. It's <laughs> 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 card. <laughs> you mean Saul? Or so, I'm sorry, Saul. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can see a couple of cards in there that just are completely unplayable. But that's perfectly fine. Would that be because they're Vanguard cards? Oh well, yeah, and tokens. <laughs> 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 and not extra. Back. <laughs> no, no. He's gonna overlay for a Vanguard monster, and those, they usually typically have monsters in the really high thousands. So. <laughs> and you know what? They they push to Vanguard, so when they turn to defense, you have a problem. <laughs> and when when regular monsters and Yu-Gi-Oh turn to defense, it's good. But when uh, Vanguard monsters turn to defense, you have a problem. They're not attacking your monster; they're hitting you. <laughs> and I don't think there's nothing you can do with Yu-Gi-Oh to block them. Eight thousand. Sorry, monster no, monster. it's a good thing I left it in defense because you can't arc it. Which is usually what people like to do. You know what? I was going to say that, but I realized that he still might make art, you know, thinking that. And it would be his misplay, but, then I, you know, I thought about game state. But you just gave him the play. So if he did go to art, you would have been happy. But now you're not happy. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <a matter. laughs> Manual, Mag, that was a smart play by Manuel, as you said. Playing seeing the Grunix in defense prevented um, uh, Saul from going to art. But Manuel, just remember, the monsters that he summoned were Bougie Incarnation. And he couldn't get anything but a beast warrior anyways. Um, at the end of your turn, 
<laughs> being that being that Manny is a Bujin player himself. I, <laughs> we see who really wears the helmet today. I've seen how many times you cheated. That's why. <laughs> He goes, Bougie Kardashian, going to Exiton? Yeah. <laughs> Saul just keeping advantage, just adding more to his hand. Just doing this thing. This is going to be risky. What? It's going to be risky. And these guys are playing for all the marbles, just to let you know. To be the first, a gamer's paradise. Ooh. Rare Hunter champion. Yeah. That, that's a lot. It's not much, but it's a lot. It's enough. <laughs> So we saw a circle on the Fire Kings in response to the banishing of Koilin. Okay, okay. And then that's just going to reset uh, Garunix back to the field. Yes. I, I think Manuel's been extremely uh, decisive battling against uh, the Bujan opposition. I, I think he, he does a lot to get over certain cards. And it, it, eventually in the future, it will net him some advantage if he can get out of this first hole that's all his placed him in. Grunix's special summon. Okay. Hair so protecting the. So wait, so like, oh, Whoa! Whoa! Uh, <laughs> oh. See a Swords of Concealing Light come down. This is in defense, by the way. Mm. Mm. That makes things interesting. It's gonna be a warning, young man. So, uh, that sort of, I feel like that Swords of Concealing Light would have been an excellent play. I think that that was a superior Crash. play, but... Lance is a very good play. Lance is a very good card. <laughs> it's nothing much to say. Pasturing. So we'll debating on his next play. With so much advantage, he just clearly is in the power position. He's <laughs> using the burn off the last material of the Sasonolo. That's fine. So this match is uh, definitely longer than we expected, as opposed to the game uh, one. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Both players deciding to wall up. Yeah. Chain. Oh. 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 <laughs> I was like, fuck. And then I was like, wait. <laughs> Hold on. Chain turtle. <laughs> wait. How how do these chain links work again? <laughs> these aren't affecting only some monsters, right? Huh? These don't, this doesn't affect nearly some monsters, right? Yes, it does. No, it does. Oh, okay, no. Read it. I'd be really I'm good. I'm just messing with him. I think a lot more people will be what? citing it. And this just Ooh. might be it. Unless Manuel has uh, some type of comeback in his back row right now. I play one fader. This, okay, <laughs> so. This, this could be it. Awesome. <laughs> and our helmet player definitely won this match. Manny, how do you feel that Fire Kings did for you today? Huh? They did awesome until I played Bush. Yeah. <laughs> so what, what happened in that matchup exactly? Um, Even though well, we saw the whole thing. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, it's it's um a lot of my main cards couldn't do much against you know the helmet because <laughs> you have too many cards going. You know, normally it'd be fine when you have a card, you know, that dark holes every turn. But then you have another card that just protects that. And okay. when you're trying to push in for game, and you see the, the crane, oh. there's not much you can do. <laughs> this deck is very limited. And the whole time I was very limited with, uh, I didn't think the Kaiser would hurt too much, but in the end it did. Because I could have uh, been putting cards like uh, Mermelo. Okay. I had a Mermelo in hand that I couldn't use the whole game because of... It's either I had Mermelo and he would run it over for game with the crane he had in hand, mm -hmm. or I would just keep on sitting on Runix uh, until yeah, it, so yeah, it, it put you in a bad position. Well, that, that was a very interesting game. You guys have already shook hands and made love. Thank you guys for watching another segment of the Alex Simo effect. Please like, comment, subscribe, but most of all, enjoy. Thank you, Kelly. <laughs>